Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is episode four of the shop build. If you haven't seen the first three episodes, go scroll back, check those out. Those videos, we uh, cleared some land, we got the concrete slab poured, we talked about what kind of shop we were going to build. And then I said in the end of the third episode, it'd be about a month or so before they come out and build it. Well, they came out. Just as they said, Eagle Carports, they said, um, Eagle Buildings, said that it'd be about four Mexicans come out and only one would speak English. Well, that was true. Four came out, only one spoke really good English. They were all super nice, and they came out, and it took them three days to build the shop. Actually, I would say it was two and a half days. Um, one of those days, they worked up until the night. And the next day, and, they, and that was to skeletize it and everything. And then the next day, they came out and put all of the siding on and the roof on. And they kind of finished it up on the half of the third day. And then they were out of here, and it was done. Okay, so before I show you the shop, here's the shadow of the shop. I want to talk about the land a little bit and what we've been doing out there. Kind of keep you in suspense about the building. If you'll remember in some of the previous videos, we had a ton of wood here. Lots of rubbish and old trees and stuff. And we finally got it burnt down and bulldozed and spread out. And that's the only little bit that's left. And we finally got the culvert put in. Still needs about two more loads of the dirt gravel right there. But eventually, you could drive on out and hit the road. All of this is pretty clean. We got one pile to burn later. And like I said, we need to get a little more dirt on the culvert on the road, but this is a could be a possible new entrance. I think um, in episode one, I was standing out there pointing back this way, talking about the design of the shop and how it was going to look. Did like a 360 of the shop in and out and talked about it a little bit. Well... It happened. There it is. So there's the shop. It's got two 10 by 10 roll up doors, one man door. It's uh, 36 by 38. And of course, this right here is a 12 by 38 a lean to. I uh, had some dirt work done. Still need to do some. And all of this white, I call it white rock, it's crushed rock, it's old limestone or something. I had an extra pile around the house. This stuff's really expensive right now. So uh, the way the rain has been coming off and hitting the dirt and splattering back up, I ended up uh, getting some from the pile by hand and shoveling it and uh, putting it out. And, and it's been working out. We had one slight shower and it worked out pretty good. I've got it here there and all along the other side of the building but I need to do the back and finish the front spot would be a good area to uh, wash a car or you could uh, sand on a vehicle out here or do something where you didn't want a lot of the dirt off of it in the main building this is where I plan on having an outdoor compressor soon and on the other side of this wall is the restroom this is where the water will come in, and that's where we'll have a spigot. And you, like I said, you could wash your car out here or do other things. Got me one of these keyless code entry door handle locks, and I'll put that in the video description. Got it off Amazon. They work great. There's no electricity right now. I do have to run electricity in here. Oh, but it's... Uh, Let's get these doors rolled up. All right. So, yeah, man door, roll up doors. I think from the floor to the top, it's about 16 feet. So, looking at up here, it's definitely a little over eight feet. This is six feet. That's supposed to be eight feet. So what I'm thinking about doing 
it's kind of making a small loft all the way around at the eight foot mark with some some poles some beams only coming out to right here no further and uh, we'll have a beam and a beam and a beam and a beam I hope that'll work out and some sub flooring and a rail and some stairs and I want to have it to where I can have more storage up here just a small little loft uh, this is the side that will will have the lift on so I don't want too much of a loft to interfere with that this of course would just be a, a free bay now going back here, this is what I would call the tool crib, the tool room, and it's pretty dark. Uh, I will say this, with the metal building like it is, you can just put magnets anywhere you want. Magnet light for now. Uh, I plan on painting and fixing up this cabinet. I paint it black to match this one. Paint that black maybe. Um, got a small desk area. And of course, back there, that's where the bathroom would be. Um, and of course, I'll wall it off. Uh, somewhere I believe this is where our electrical will come in. Have an electrical panel, possibly there. And generally, it'll just, I'll have tools back here, toolboxes. I'll have to organize it, but I really didn't want a lot of space being took up in here. I want plenty of room to pull stuff in and out. And like I said, want my loft up here uh, <clears throat> so that's the front right there what I hope to do one day this area right here what I want to do is put whiteboard up there or magnetize put a sheet up there with magnetic corners and I'm hoping to hang a projector or something up in the ceiling so that that'll be basically my TV or my entertainment while I'm in the shop. It'll be out of the way and just pointing that way. Let's see if we can get some light up in here. And of course, maybe put something on this beam or something. And of course, I've already bought a lot of lights to go up here. I just hadn't mounted them yet. And of course, I have no electricity yet. Got to make marks for all of my uh, receptacles, outlets and stuff. But yeah, let's walk around the building. So I hope to one day um, put gravel back here, but this is behind the shop. So we can drive behind the building, you know. Of course, this side is just bare, it's nothing. That's the extra rock I laid. More parking and stuff out here, it's good stuff. Yeah, and I gotta get more, more driveway dirt. Eventually, we'll have a driveway um, coming out here and going out that way. So I have to get a culvert and some gravel out there too. But yeah. We got some magnetic motion lights for now out front. But um, yeah, man. I'm very happy with it. It's a good shop. It's gonna allow me to make some better videos, maybe. During the winter months. In general, really. So much more room for activities. I really love how everything in here is metal. Because magnets work everywhere. I mean, I just love me some magnets. Now I can just put the phone anywhere I want in this building because it's all metal and I use the magnet base. So I'm using this little gym buddy thing and it just, since the whole building is metal, everywhere is a place I can mount my phone. I'll leave a link to the gym buddy in the video description of this video. So much more room for activities. Okay, well, I guess that'll do it for this video. Um, I guess I better get inside and start editing it and get it online because it's been about a month since I've done a video. Anyways, if you're new here and you like what I'm doing, you like some of my other videos, 
don't hesitate to subscribe and like the videos. That helps the algorithm, helps others know about me and get seen, okay? So we'll talk to you later. See you. Bye.